My life revolves around acorns. And because oaks are found on every continent, I've had to learn the word for acorn in many languages. I'm talking about those troublesome nuts that have to be gathered up and thrown away from around the oak trees every autumn. The ones the squirrels love. The ones you were probably told not to eat because they're toxic. All of these foods are made with acorn. And these? And these. Acorn is not toxic. It's delicious, it's nutritious, and it even qualifies as a superfood. At TEDx Thessaloniki 2012, I spoke about the work I was doing with acorns. I had just begun to advocate for oaks, trees, and acorns, the importance of these in our lives and in our diets. I had learned how to make acorn flour on a large scale and had even begun to make the acorn cookies that you're going to find in your goodie bags later during the break. In the seven years since I've been here, my acorn world has expanded greatly. I continue to help canned farmers to export acorn caps, which are used by the eco leather tanning industry. I opened the world's first and only food production company based on acorn flour. My products have been awarded in many countries, and they're exported to Europe and the US. I wrote a book about eating acorns, and I'm working with scientists in the US and Greece on detailed analysis of acorn and the byproduct that occurs during the processing of acorns. Acorns do need to undergo some steps before they're ready to eat. But these steps are no more difficult than the ones we already have in place for processing dried fruits and olives. And the remarkable thing, I would even say revolutionary thing about acorn, is that before they are processed, they're full of tannin, which serves as a natural preservative, which means that acorns that have been properly dried can remain a viable food source for a decade and maybe longer. I've personally taken acorn out of storage after three years that was indistinguishable from more recently gathered nuts. This alone makes me think that acorns could be vital in creating food security. Acorns meet many of our food challenges in the 21st century. They're packed with potassium, magnesium, fiber, and like all nuts, they have protein. Acorns are gluten-free, and they're a great source of vegan iron and calcium. And most important of all, acorns are packed with polyphenols. Now, many of you, like myself, will probably be asking, polyphenol, I know it's a good thing, but I'm not quite sure what it is. And the simplest explanation I've come up with, backed by science, is that these are antioxidant compounds that actually go after sick cells and eat them. So why has acorn been mislabeled toxic if it actually has the ability to eradicate diseased cells? The answer to this is not completely understood. 101 years ago, in 1918, C. Hart Merriam, who was the chief of the US Biological Survey, published an article in the National Geographic entitled Acorns, a Possibly Neglected Source of Food. 101 years ago, but despite the prestigious standing of the National Geographic in the early 20th century, the article didn't seem to have made much of an impact. Archaeological remains, as well as indigenous traditions, clearly indicate that acorn has played a role as food for humans since prehistoric times. There were acorn cultures for thousands of years in the Iberian Peninsula, South Korea, China, North Africa, North America, the Middle East, and ancient Greece, all had regions where the acorn could be depended upon as a staple food. In all of these regions, as well as many others, the acorn has also served as a symbol of hope, regeneration, and fertility. Nowhere was the acorn more important than in California. For many of the tribes, acorn made up as much as half of their diet. Acorns were not abandoned all at once, but they did become less important as other crops became more commonly cultivated. Acorn is not the only underestimated, slandered nut in history. Peanuts were also considered food fit only for the very poor and for livestock. 
This didn't change until after the U.S. Civil War, when both armies subsisted on this high-protein food. Today, peanuts, peanut butter, and peanut candy are some of the most popular products in the U.S. Americans eat more than three kilos of peanuts per year, with a retail value of over two billion dollars. Could the same thing happen with acorns? I believe it can, especially since oaks are found in nearly every region where humans have settled. But we're going to have to look at these trees differently and learn a little bit more about them. There are more than 500 different types of oak trees. They're extremely adaptive. They can live in a wide variety of climates and elevations. And because the acorn has such a long shelf life as a viable food, it could be very crucial in war zones, during famines, and in places where other crops either fail or are negatively affected by climate change. Agroforestry systems that utilize forest products have been demonstrated to be more likely to survive and thrive. The challenge now is to alert foresters, farmers, and the food industry to the possible uses of acorns. Acorns are in our past. Acorns are our future. Going forward, so much of what needs to happen will be about dismantling the debris that our rapid development has accumulated. Architecture is going through enormous changes. Structures are becoming self-sustaining. Biospheres, echo towers, underground communities. Humans will need to totally, completely re-strategize their food systems. And I predict that factory farms, like any other unsustainable business, will slowly start going out of business. And as for sustainability, we now know that this isn't enough. It's not enough to sustain unsustainable systems. We need to redesign completely new holistic systems. I mean, if somebody comes and asks you, "Hey, how's your marriage doing now?" and the answer is, "It's sustainable," you know this isn't enough, right? Restoration and regeneration are key factors going forward. When we remember to look around us at what our surroundings have to offer in a regenerative manner, we will uncover an entirely new spectrum of possibilities. Let's remember oak trees. And the importance of harvesting acorns for our environment, our economy, and our health. Let's plant fruit and nut and oak trees in our gardens, in our parks, and in our public spaces. And let's tell more people about eating acorns. The simple act of eating acorns allows every one of us to participate in the creation of a green new world with a braver new humanity. Thank you.